Oh, Angel also drew a game. He's playing against uh, Dennis Boros here. Also a draw. Uh, check. Ah. ah, Dennis. Dennis, my man. What is Night B5? Oy, oy, oy. Everybody's blundering. Everybody's blundering. Wow. If I get into Candice while I stream, be closed. No. If I get into Candice, I'll just change my schedule around and I'll become like XQC. I'll stream like 12 hours a day and then just not stream for like a week or two. Um, but that, that's what I'll do. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not stopping you guys. Again, candidates, I mean, big deal. It's just the candidates. But yeah, this is the second one, se second title. So okay, here we go. Let's go Knight F3. I'm just gonna stick to my regular routines. Actually, how many people are playing? Oh wow, this is a whoa, this is a very small field. Wow, there are only 300 players today. Okay, it's gonna be a very this one. There, this, the winning score might be very low. Only 300 players. So normally, I feel like when they're about 450, 500, somewhere, somewhere nine and a half, ten wins. But if they're 300, everybody's gonna have to play everybody pretty early. So the winning score could be something like nine points. It's, it's gonna be a low score for sure. Oh, uh, now I can play a3, but I think knight c3 is fine to stop a4. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go h3, I guess. I just kind of want to stop bishop g4, but I guess he played knight a6, so maybe that's not really a, an issue here. Hmm. I could have also gone a3, but I guess this is fine. Now, do I take with the bishop? I guess I just take with the bishop. I mean, if b5, I drop back to, I guess, e2. Strange position here. The bishop f5, I, I mean, I think I should just... Takes as a move, but it looks wrong. I think I just castle here. g4 is also maybe an idea, but I don't really understand the point. Knight b4 just allows me to play a3, but then he goes knight d5. I guess that's his idea. Do have knight h4, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go knight h4 to hit the bishop. It's gonna have to go back to one of these two squares. And I think I'm gonna start to expand in the center with e4. And if b5, I just go bishop e2. If I get a3, his knight is kind of having to go back because now I cover the d5 square. So I really do like my position here. Late, late in the middle of the night in Asia, I mean, I, I guess, but yeah, 300 is just a very low number. I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked by that number. Okay, just go e5. It's actually not great. Hmm. Uh, this is actually really not great. Um, let's think. Knight d7, knight of 395. Let's go back. I can just trade, play a3, I guess. Let's go a3. Goes knight six. Now I can play f4 here. Queen c2 looks like a good move though, just to consolidate. I have bishop c1. I also have f4 maybe. I have takes, I have knight d5 with the fork. If he goes check, I just scoot over and I play e5. Or do I go h2? My instinct says h2 is right, just because I'm worried about some bishop h3 sack. So I think I'm gonna go here. If I get rook d1, I can maybe even sack for the bishop here. So I don't know what's going on, but I feel de feels decent. He goes bishop e6. Now, I mean, rook a d1 looks very strong. Because now knight d5 is a huge threat, as is rook d4 and knight d5. If he takes, I mean, he's getting sauce in the diagonal. This looks very bad for black, objectively. Wait, now I have knight d5. And if rook d5, I just take, takes, and I take the bishop. Takes with a pawn, I take on d4. This should be very good for me. Maybe I'm missing something, but it feels good. Feels good, I think it is good. 1103 in Berlin, that's dedication. Um, I guess. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's deep in the tank, so 
I presume I'm winning here because I have f5. Trying to really rip up, rip open the center here of the board. Even queen d2, queen h6 looks strong. I also have bishop a1, queen b2 to battery. I presume this is winning somehow. I don't know if bishop a1 is the move or if I should take. Oh, I can take and go bishop f6 actually. Wait. Actually, this looks very clean. Just bishop f6 and e5. And I have e5 and that's just ggs. And I can take and take. Game over. Okay, now the funny thing is I can actually, maybe I just ignore. I think I'm just going to ignore it and go for the checkmate. I'm just going to go for the lobster pincer with the bishop and the queen here. And I think the dark squares are just way too vulnerable for him. If queen f8, I think I can even just go. What? Let's go here. I cover. Just a classic lobster pincer and he can't stop mate. Okay, pretty good stuff. We got to win in round one. So very, very good. All right, so let's watch some other games. Um, what else do we have? Okay, let's watch Jan. Jan is still playing. Jan is playing with white. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Jan is up three pawns. So Jan's going to win two. A 2.5K, by the way. I mean, very strong player. I actually played... I played that. I played Nate Solon when we were kids. I played him in the uh, national championships when we were like... Maybe like he was like 15. I was like 12. So long, long time ago. So... Anywho, anywho. All right, so what do we have? King g4, king h5. White's just winning, of course. Or rook f2, but king h5 looks pretty clean. Rook f2, or just takes. <laughs> okay, that's game over. Dania's game is wild. Okay, let's go to Dania's game. Dania is winning. He's got a one pawn. If he didn't have this pawn, he'd be in trouble, but this pawn is just going down the board. And his opponent's got no time, so he's going to win this game. I'm pretty sure he's going to win. Although c6, c7 is maybe a deflect. Um, what? What? A little bit confusing. Um, saying the board is cut off, I mean, maybe just a touch, but not, not much. Very, very strange. Did he get disconnected? I don't know if he disconnected or what happened, but very, very weird. Anyway, uh, okay, Jan won his game. Let's see what else we have. Paid actor? <laughs> Paid actor, I guess. I doubt it, but definitely possible. MVL blundered a queen? Wait, what? Wait, are you serious? Wait. You're, you're joking, right? I don't see his game here, but... Um, yeah, I think it's a Jebate. I, I mean, I, I don't see him on one out of one, but I think it's a Jebate. Okay, what's going on here? This game, by the way, should be a draw. It's king e4 and h5. Why should not actually lose this game? Okay, f5 maybe? But you just take. Now it's a slight blunder. King f3. This is still a draw, I think. Bishop h... Oh, knight f6 and black wins? Or no, there's still a draw, I guess, if you take. King g3. g5, king g4 is a draw. It's a draw. King g5, of course, and now draw. Wow. Check the MVL game. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look in a second. Um, what is MVL's username? Um, let's see. Archive. What's his username? Um, Le Leon Beast, right? Leon Beast, I think, is what it is. Okay, let's pull it up. Let's take a look. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, pretty normal. Okay. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wow. 
Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Maxime really did that. Super GM, by the way. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Brutal. Unlucky, yeah. Super GMs these days. <laughs> uh, I mean, it happens, obviously. I mean, he's probably just distracted. He was getting, like, getting his coffee or doing something, and it just, yeah, it just happens. They do Rhythmic, by the way, for the resub. Thank you so much for Rhythmic. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Rhythmic. All right, so one out of one, 10 to go. Um, pretty good so far. But this is going to be a very strong event. He watched my Botez Gambit videos? Probably, yeah. Probably. No, I didn't play Daniel yet. Thank you to Peter Sodi for the 21. You're going to have a lot of really tough matchups, though, because of how few players are in this event. Everybody's going to run into each other very early on. Uh Oh, I meant to play E5. Oh, that slipped. Okay, whatever. I'll play a Gambit. Okay, he had E4, which was playable. I guess, actually, he let me transpose back into an English. So I should be pretty happy with this. Okay, he plays e3, right, so I'll go here. Queen d3, of course. See what how much this guy knows about this line. This is obviously not, this is one of many ways you can play against this line. I have this against, um, against uh, bishop g4 is fine, bishop f5. There's so many options here for black. I'm going to take the probably the more traditional one with bishop e6. But there, there are a lot of games in this line. A time in Berlin, it is currently 11, 11 p.m. So it's uh, it's not super, not super early, not super late. All right now, I go back. If D4, I mean, first of all, I can castle here. I can also trade. Depends which one I want to play. I think I'll just play this one and just play a middle game. Okay, I'm a little surprised by that. Because now I cover the square. This is actually not great for white, because now I have knight D5. I can also go bishop F5, maybe. Knight b4 is also pretty reasonable. Uh, just a question of which way I want to play this. Many different options. I can also play like g5 or something, but I think I'm going to go... Uh, h5 is very bold, so I'm going to play it. I think I'm going to go here to attack the queen. I could have taken the pawn too. Queen b3. I mean, I do have g5 here, actually, or h4. Just want to make sure I'm not blundering. I also have knight a5. I'm going to go h4. Because now I have g5 lurking as well. It's going to get very, very saucy. Very messy as well. Okay, plays a4. So a5 is a move, but I think knight a5 must be right. Oh, I did allow queen b5, which is a mistake by me. Actually, can I go a6 takes knight c4 maybe or something? Queen g5? I mean, this is very wild. I can also play like knight a c4. I don't really want to trade. Well, the trade in bishop b4 is maybe playable too. I guess I'll go here. Very messy position. He plays b3, but I think that's a blunder because now I think I can. Uh, I think I can chase the queen. First, I can take. But this looks fine too. So go here. I can actually just take the pawn. But I can also play a game of f6, queen g6, and chase the queen maybe as well. I also have bishop e7 and rook g8 to trap the queen. I think I'm just going to take the queen with f6 and rook h6. I think the queen gets trapped unless I'm missing something very obvious. Oh, here's this. Oh, I didn't actually see this as a move. Um, that's kind of unfortunate. Wait. No, but wait. I just take and go here and I... Oh, wait. No, I'm still losing the knight. What am I doing? Very poor by me. I'm still I'm still fine. Probably even better here, but uh, I guess I go here because I can still take the bishop. I can also take the pawn. Okay, I take. He can't take with this one because then he loses the bishop. I'm trying to take on h2 and just end the game. 
Okay, but now I go here. Again, trying to create the lobster pincer. Okay, this should be winning here. I guess I can take with any of his knight b5 tricks. So I think the easiest way to win is just go for mate. So I'm just going to go here. I think I'm just going to go caveman style. Just checkmate him on h1. Again, lobster pins are very, very dangerous technique. I don't even see how he stops it. Because rook h8 is just crushing. Oh, oh, he's got this. Which, I didn't actually see this move. Oh, that's not good. I'm still probably winning, but this isn't really what I want to have to play. Okay, now I guess I just... Uh, I have to take... This is still winning, but this isn't really how I wanted to win this. Okay, take. Again, I have the double op combo. So it's pretty clean here. Like, I go here, line up some wooden shields, line up some checkmate threats like rook d1. Yeah, the wooden shield here should rule the day. Again, classic uh, double op combo as well. Just too too much pressure here. I mean, the double, double op combo, the double wooden shield, the, the weak king here... Just too much. I'm also targeting the pony here as well. Thank you, WV223 for the eight months. Thank you so much, WV223. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, uh, they're two. Two. They, they're going to be two for the next, like, three or four months. Yeah. What is a wooden shield? Yeah, a double wooden shield is even better. So, yeah, can't complain. Now I just take up a juicer, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't even need to do this, but again, I mean. Okay, resigns, two up, two down. So far, so good. A caveman with a club and a shield. Yeah, exactly, you guys, exactly. Totally. I can't make the early morning streams, but I love the evening streams. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm again with two title Tuesdays, we're gonna have a lot of content going forward. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I am playing. Uh, Jan is not playing the FIDE Grand Prix. No, he's already qualified. So, um, so because he's already qualified for the uh, Canada tournament, he's not playing. Why will there be two tilted Tuesdays? I guess Chess.com has the monies, and um, they they want they they want more more content for everybody. Plain and simple. So yeah, so two out of two, everybody, of course, on two out of two. It's going to be, of course, a very strong field. Uh, not easy to, to break through at all, that's for sure. The, I, I think the, the winning score is going to be like nine points. I, I actually think nine will be the winning score. If he's playing when he loses ticket, yeah, I think actually they did make that a rule. Did I get banned from Chess24? No. Um, that's a very weird question to ask. No, I frankly, uh, you know, I had some very light discussions, but when Chess.com came up with a Rapid Chess Championship, uh, it was a no-brainer for me. No-brainer. Um, so, yeah. The Indian kids are playing Prague, Arjun, Raunak. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's uh, yeah, I think, I mean, they're t the, the two, uh, two, two title twos is very good for them. Thank you to Jay Shaper. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Jay Shaper. Thank you for the, uh, thank you so much for the, um, uh, for the 21 months. Uh, oh, and I mean, as far as any stressed out perform, not really, because the thing is, it's a very weird format where it's actually not about head to head. It's, it's about qualifying. And I was thinking about this too. Like there is a good chance that people are going to be very cautious because it, it's not, um, it's not just a traditional Swiss. So it's it's a weird format. It's like asking if I feel stressed to perform, outperform Espenko is the wrong question. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Like you could say, do I feel stressed to outperform Grishak? It's just win the group if you can. That's all. That's all that matters. It, nothing else matters. Am I still a member of TSM? Um, yes, I am. But I am currently uh, abroad. I am in Berlin. So yeah. Chess.com investing in chess nerds. Fide could learn a couple of things from that. Well, I mean, Chess.com is generating the big bucks. Uh, so. I mean, online is where the big bucks are right now. Uh, I am a member of TSM, yeah. It should be in the rotator logo, but uh, maybe I don't have it. No, I do. 
Yeah, it should be. Um, yeah, see, there's TSM, you guys. See, there's TSM. So, yeah. No, I still am a member of TSM. Honey bun, sugar pie, honey. Oh, by the way, my chat got, got locked there. That's why that's why I answered the same question twice. Um, um, Champion Chess Tour is a bigger prize fund. Yeah, but it's, it takes much more time. And there's going to be conflicts because people are playing over the board tournaments as well. So it's going to be very, very messy and very complicated. Unlike, say, last year when people didn't have tournaments to play in. But yeah. Good luck, Hikaru. I hope you do well, but even if you don't, it's okay. Like I said, I mean, it's really hard to judge, but I will say that I've been playing strong players online, so I don't think it should be all that different. Have I been to an NBA game lately? No, I haven't been to a sports game in a long time. Okay, I'm going to go back to basics. We're playing Cabalio. This is somebody that I played. Um, I played him in Linares in 2003 when I was aspiring to become an IM. I played him in the first round. It was, uh, it was uh, Ross Limo. The old days. Let's go C4 here. Okay, I'll play D4. He is. I think Kabali nowadays is a pretty prominent trainer. He trains the uh, the Russian player Merzin, I think it is. Guess I'll play my old lines. Let's just go here. Yeah, it's Mikhail Kabali. He uh, he's trained the young Russian junior um, uh, Merzin. Vol Vol Volodymyr Merzin. Maybe I maybe I have the name wrong, but that's that's who he's training now. So, um, yeah. I'll go B4 and trade. There should be seven. Okay, so I mean, the, the idea I think here is he wants to go like knight f8, knight e6. So I need to play bishop g2 and try to prevent that if I can. I also have b5 as well. Um, No, Vladimir Mirza, not Putin. Don't be all weird. I go here, I castle, of course. Now, b5 is obviously a reasonable move, but I think rookie one is pretty good here to go bishop h3 and target the knight. Now, I do have bishop h3. I also do a b5 here. I mean, bishop h3 looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. As long as there's no knight e4, I should be completely fine here. Whoa! Thank you to Mamba Forever for the 100 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Mamba Forever. Thank you so much for the 100 gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mamba Forever. Big shout out. Okay, now I do have B5. I don't want to just like get che cheesy here and mess this up. I think Bishop F4 is pretty stable here. Target the Knight. I mean, I got the double op combo maybe, but I think that's a mistake. He missed. I think Knight H5 was strong there. So there's take. Again, the double op combo here is he's got a very passive bishop, and the double ops are really strong here. Really strong, actually. Takes with knight. I mean, again, not really buying this. I'm not buying what he's doing. It feels sketchy at best. Okay, he goes 94. I actually should not have allowed this move. Um, I'm still better, I think, but it's a little bit complicated now. Five queen b3. Should stop knight e4. Very poor move by me. I can play knight e2, but I think just queen c2 and queen c3 should be fine. It goes knight f6. I mean, of course, should obviously trade to open up the diagonal or the file, I should say. Um, that makes sense. Rook b6, 94, queen b2, maybe. Guard the pawn, guard the pawn, hit the pawn on c6. Everything's kind of holding here, but it's still a little bit tricky. He's very close to lost. If this pawn falls, he loses the game. If, we, if this bishop gets in, he also loses the game. So he has to be very, very careful how he plays this. Trying to think what I'm going to do, depending on what his next move is. Yeah, he finds queen e8, which is a very, very good move. Maybe the only move in the position that I think isn't losing. So I'll go here. I want to go bishop d7. Now 
Okay, I think he might have had some knight c5, queen e1 check. But all right, um, he plays f5, so now it's time to reset. Now I just have to get the right setup. Um, bishop e5 looks wrong. Bishop f1, bishop e7. I don't have a way through. There's got to be some way through here that I'm missing. Okay, so let's go here. Somehow I don't actually have a way through. It goes g5, which I don't understand. I go here. I mean, now there's threats on g7 as well. Okay, I guess. A6. Hmm, how do I win this position is the question. Rook c7 is a move. He wants to go knight g5, which I guess makes sense. Play h4, take 6, queen h5, bishop d1. D1, Queen D. Don't like H4. Rook B can't be right. I'm gonna go H4. Oh my gosh, I just blundered, I think. I just made a huge blunder. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Um, or is that actually a huge blunder? Can I go? Ugh. I guess I go here and hope. Oh, and I just blundered rook a3. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just blundered rook a3 and I just lose the game. I guess it was too good to be true. You know, he finds it because it's the only move. It's an only move, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got too careless. Yeah, it's just losing. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's, it's a strong field, though, so, I mean, yeah, there's some mate here, I'm sure. Queen H2. I mean, I just move and hope there's no mate, I mean... Funny thing is, he actually doesn't have an instant mate here, which is kind of weird. I'm sure he's mating somehow, but I don't actually see it right off. Ah, oh, he's got that one, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I just blunder. I blundered here in this position. <clears throat> I, I could have forced a draw, but I just blundered. Like, right here, I think it's still probably kind of okay with bishop e2, knight f3, and just trade. But it's already the wrong spot. Yeah. Never resigned. No, I mean it was it was just a bad, bad game. I played h4, which was too too much. Like right around here, um, it should have been maybe slightly better. But then then once I let him get g4 and I played h4, yeah. No, adapt well, like I said, luckily it's a small field. If this was a big field already, it'd be very bad. Uh Queen G5 wasn't checkmate. No, I have King E6. Um but yeah, I could have traded pieces. Yeah, probably I should have, but I mean, whatever. It happens. So, huge cash out, yeah. No, I, I threw that one. I threw that one when I, I mean, I should have just bailed it out and made the draw, but I, I wanted to keep going, so it's life. <clears throat> um, at any rate, okay. So, all right, one more before the break. Uh, like I said, it is a long tournament and there are not that many, not that many players in it, so there is a chance. Game shifted as soon as the 100 kit came in, maybe. No, it's not about distraction. I just, I, I got, I just got careless trying too hard to create, create a mess. Um, Daniel's not playing, or is this glitched? I'm not actually sure if Daniel's playing or not, but at any rate, um, nah, it happens. It happens. Um, Han just won down a queen. <laughs> really? Okay, that's pretty funny. Um, but yeah. All right. At any rate, um, where is Daniel's game? I don't see. I don't see Daniel's game, but he he must have won, right? Oh, Daniel lost too. Uh, Bishop e2 instead of queen e, queen e2, and you're better. Yeah, queen e2 was a huge blunder, but Bishop e2, knight f3, and it's a, just a draw, most likely. Hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, like I said, there are 296 players, so it's actually not a big deal because already there are only there are only 16 players on three points, which is pretty insane, actually. 
Yeah, 16 players on three points. That's what, eight after four, four after five, two after six. So yeah, I mean, it's not good, but it's not, um, it's, it's obviously not the end of the world to how few players are in the tournament. But yeah, it's not what I wanted, that's for sure. Yeah, queen two is bad. Okay. Could have also played rook b3 and queen b7 maybe. I should have actually done that, okay. Uh, let's play g6, of course, I have to win, so now it's very easy, just play random stuff. Um, play a Dutch, let's play a Dutch here. Go here, knight. I guess I go here. I'm gonna play bishop b2, I guess I'll go here. Oh, uh, no, I can play knight bd7, maybe. See what he does. Obviously, I'm going to play e5 next move. Okay, same for a long time here. Trying to make him burn a lot of clock here. I guess e5 is actually a threat. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll play rook e8 and e5 now. Knight d7, he would definitely make a draw. So I, obviously I can't make a draw. He's 2500 as well. So a draw is just like not acceptable under any circumstances here. c5, e4, I guess. Takes, interesting. Okay, goes there. Huh. Doesn't feel quite right. I guess I'll go e4. Let's hit knight g5 here. Uh, doesn't do it. Do have e3 maybe. e3 and ef2 knight g4 maybe. But I think I'm just going to keep it simple with bishop e6. Maybe put a knight on d5. Just play simple chess. No need to gamble here. go here force a trade I have a good queen here if I get 97 95 that should also be pretty good here it's 96 c7 e3 is a threat he plays f3 didn't think this was a good move If I go e takes bishop f3. Can also just play knight d7, I suppose. And I have knight c3 maybe. Can also just take. Here I have knight c3 maybe. I have knight f6 as well. Not very happy with the position though, that's for sure. Oh, I also have 93, which I just forgot about too. Queen c2. Okay, that's an interesting move. Queen c3 seems like a good way to force an endgame. Oh, wait, he's bishop e4. No, wait, no. No, this is fine. Bishop e4, I have queen d4. It was e3. Problem here is I have a lot of weaknesses. So let's go here. I just realized he also had bishop h3. So I was going to go knight f6, but he had bishop h3 and I just resigned. Let's so go here maybe. I'm close to being better or close to being kind of okay. Still probably slightly worse. Okay, that feels like a mistake. Do I go knight d3 and knight g4? also go a5 maybe i'm gonna go a5 here try to weaken the structure try to play against this rook and i have knight d3 as well very tricky i guess i'll 
pre-move this? Looks like a safe pre-move, so I think I do take it. This there, so I take. Go here, I hit E3, I hit D3. I mean, the, these knights are really jumping a little bit here. That looks like a mistake, wait. 93 maybe? Let's go here, hit the rook. These knights are jumping, but it's still very messy. Okay, and these knights finally, finally I get a blunder and I get a fork, and now I'm gonna win. Yeah. Okay, and now I guess I just take. So now I just take the pawns, come back, pretty clean win. All right, good win, good win. Not not great, but not not great play by me at least here at the start. But again, the field is so light that there's always a chance if I can if I can win some games. So we get to three out of four. Let's pull out some other games. Let's watch. Oh, Benjamin is playing Hans. Okay, big game here. I think you did Diaz as well. <laughs> Mag is gonna replace Bacro. Yeah, by the way, Benjamin is better here. I think he's up a pawn, right? I know he's gonna win the game, but Benjamin is better here in this game. See if Benjamin can keep it together. He's up 40 seconds. I mean, this, this Benjamin should win this game. Well, it's not easy. I mean, weak pawn here. Probably Bishop F6, Queen C2 is what I would play. But Benjamin, you... Uh, uh, I mean, come on. What's he doing? Bishop F6 and Queen C2? What? Rookie eight, you gotta go, Benjamin. This is not good. What is he doing? Rookie c8, of course, you gotta move. Wow, but Hans even flags there, which is also kind of crazy. I I don't know. I'm not sure. I I don't. I think if Hans was moving quicker, Benjamin might have lost this because the rook's getting the d7. A lot of activity. At any, any rate, Benjamin wins the game. So. Uh, he moves a four out of four. Andrew's playing against uh, Ar Arjun, the legend. The legend is winning against uh, the penguin. I think the pawn on c3 is very powerful here. Bishop e6, there's also rook h... Oh, wait, no, then rook a7. Maybe you can take here on e6 if you're allowed to. Okay, rook h6. C2? C2. C2 is GG. C... And, and Arjun's going to actually lose now. He's down a pawn and you get king e3. Okay, maybe rook a8. Okay, rook h1. Andrew should be able to salvage this. Probably just checking, yeah, checking back. Rook A2. I think it's Borislav for the four months as well. Thank you so much, Borislav. Yeah, just check. I mean, there's nothing you can do. It's just going to be a draw. Checking back. Yeah, game ends in a draw. So, a lot, lot of tough games, as you guys can see. A lot of tough games. Let's watch Enjal. He is on... Oh, Enjal also drew a game. He's playing against uh, Dennis Boros here. Also a draw... Uh, check! Ah! Ah, Dennis! Dennis, my man, what is knight b5? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's blundering. Everybody's blundering. Wow. The wall has paintings in its gallery? Yeah. <laughs> okay, where next round should be starting. Do I think an FM cheating or Daniel just had a bad game? I didn't really see Daniel's loss, so I can't comment. Okay, I don't see, and this is kind of the point. Like, I still get a bad pairing. Like, even, even on three out of four, I get a very rough pairing against a 2900 like it's actually like it's gonna this is gonna be a rough title tuesday um i guess you know what i do need to win so let's just play e4 why not thanks so much the angry twinkie for the nine months appreciate thank you angry twinkie um hmm i, mean, I can actually take and play c4 d4 it's very weird i guess i'll just play d4 why not it's a very weird order but Take, I'm gonna take next move. 
Uh, I think I can, I mean, I can take, but I'm just gonna place traditional here. I go here, I just castle. This is all very standard, of course. Queen d3, knight d4. Of course, there's a god of Kamsky variation in the, uh, in this. Okay, I think h4 is still a good move. Let's go here, f4. F4 is still correct. Knight f5. Question is, at some point, I'm supposed to go king b1, but do I, can I play g4 here? It's also a question. I think g4 is still a move, but g4, e5. I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if it's right or wrong. Cause he can't take, so he loses the, loses that. I mean, I call, also could have gone king b1, but I'm not really sure about it. So let's see what he does here. If e5, I go knight f5, of course. I'm actually built, I've built a wall myself here on this uh, fourth rank. Just a big, big wall here. A Berlin wall attack. <laughs> Berlin wall attack, yeah. Uh, Bishop e8, I think, is actually a good move. I think I'm supposed to go king b1 here, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is all still somewhat something like theory. Because rook c3, I just take. If e5, I still have knife f5. Again, very, 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 very tricky position to play for both sides. I think rook h1 and e5 is also very scary here, too. It's king f8, wow. That looks crazy. I don't even. Is the idea knight g4? I'm really confused by this move. Wait. I'm actually really confused by this move. What is the point of this move? I'm so confused. I mean, it's whatever. I don't care. I'm just going to play F5. I don't understand this at all. And he takes, but I just take. So I can always block with the knight here. And his, ki his king on F8 just does not look like it's placed correctly somehow. I and mean, it just looks kind of wrong. Just looks very wrong. I mean, I can take E6. I can play Knight B3. Take F6. I mean, it just doesn't look right. I don't care. Yeah, I will be disappointed if if I don't see um if if I don't see Berlin draws to the Grand Prix in Berlin. Yeah. Okay, but he plays this. But now, I mean, I think I just take. I mean, I have Knight B3 and G5. I mean, this just looks questionable at best. I would say questionable at best. I go here. I mean, I'm probably just going to steam him with g5 anyway. Okay, I'm just going to go g5 anyway. Just attack, attack, attack. I think I just play here. That might be a slight mistake, but... d5, I mean, I still can just take. I can even just go queen e3. He takes. I expected that. Hmm... Queen f3 is an interesting move here. I think it's a good move. So I'm threatening f6 here. I have queen h5 also. Go sir. I think queen h5. Oh, he's got. I uh, guess. Okay, so I take. I misplayed this, of course. So I'll go here. I'm gonna go for queen h7 and mate, maybe. Queen h7 is a move here. I think this is just winning, but maybe I'm blind. Bishop f6, I have rook f1. Or did I? Oh, he's got bishop e4 here. <sighs> Somehow I'm actually misplaying this, which is starting to annoy me. Go here, guard the pawn. Or hit the pawn. Let's go here. Now I have knight d2 and rook f3. I just have to attack and get break through. That's all I have to do here. Here, rook g8 is coming in. If, if I get an act, I mean... Oh, I want king d7, but still I have rook f3. Okay, I can obviously... 
go here, I guess, and hit the pawn. Okay, but now I can take and take. If takes, I have rookie seven. Okay, goes a5. Okay, now I should actually just be better. Now I just have to prove it. I guess queen f5 is an interesting choice, but I think just knight d2 consolidates. Plays d5, expected that. But again, I do have c4. I just have to be smart about how I play this. Queen f5 doesn't look right. Rook g7, d e4 doesn't look right. What am I doing? I guess I'll just go here. Here and take the knight. Not enthused by the position, but I should still be winning. Please d4. I mean, that is a free pawn. Okay, now I just have to make sure that I get queens off the board. That's all I have to do here. If I get queens off the board, I win the game. I think I can go. I also have rook d7. Thank you so much to whoever rated me. Sorry, I'm I'm really deep in concentration. So here. Yeah, thank you so much to Balankai for the raid. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Um, I think I have this move. I hit the queen, but now I come up. There's no check. Okay, now I know that I should be winning still, but it's not easy. Let's take. Go here. Okay, now I'm now I'm up on material though, so I can't really lose. I think rook c4 is GG's. Yeah, it's just GG's. Classic uh, checkmate on c8 and rook c7. There we go. Tough game, but another win. Or a a4, I have queen c6, I guess. So he resigns. Tough game, but we got the win. Thank you so much for Bell and Kaya for the raid. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry if I was being if I was a little bit uh, harsh reacting to it. Because obviously I'm deep in the competitive game, but we got we got a win here. Uh, we are playing title Tuesday. Closer to Tilted Tuesday at the moment, but still, we're, we're in the hunt. We're in, we're in the hunt. We're in the hunt for $1,000. React harder. Bok Drew, yeah, I mean, again, like I said, there are only four people on five, and they're actually not the scary guys, so um, so anything can happen still. I think winning score for this, this tournament is going to be nine points. I'm just going to say it right now. In the hunt for Red Tuesday, yeah. I mean, I'm going to say it right now. I think the winning score is going to be nine unless one of these guys, like... I mean, Alexander Bordnick or Jospin just runs away with it. I think the winning score will be nine. Rook d7 was a move at a certain point, but I don't think it was ever winning unless I missed something. Jordan on five out of five, yes. Jordan and uh, Jordan Borknik and um, and Jose Martinez out cancer, they're all on five points. But yeah, who is the scariest player? I mean, by scary, I mean like for example, like I find, I mean Joe Bava is a scary player. Babadazar can be scary at times. Like, of course, Nepo is scary. Bogdan can be scary. But like I just mean like these guys are very strong players, but they're I, I don't consider them to be like super dangerous. I'm a scary chatter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Magnus is scary. Of course, Magnus is scary. Yeah. All right. Um... I don't think there are any games going. Oh, no, there, there are games going. Let's see. Savitinov is... Mm, should be a draw. King H7. Again, G3 is still a threat, I guess. King F8, of course. G, uh, G3, I guess, was not a... G3? I think G3 was a move again, but okay. Yeah, of course, now it's just an easy draw. G3? Oh, wow. Uh, now you have to take and make a draw. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. That was bad. 
Oh my gosh, that was so bad. I mean, you just take the pawn and just go rookie one, just make the draw. That was very bad. Very, very poor. Okay, so I'm playing... Oh my gosh, I got Benjamin. <laughs> okay, I played Benjamin in round six. Okay, this is... I think I have to try to win. Um, so I'm going to have to try to win. What do I play against? I'm going to play the Dutch. I'm going to play the Dutch against the Dutchie. Why not play the Dutch? It's a good opening. Okay. Let's go here. I think e5 is still playable unless I'm crazy. Takes and queen d8, I believe, is still fine. Benjamin is thinking, I mean, did I blunder here or not? I don't think I did. I think this is still fine, but Benjamin's thinking so long that I'm actually getting a little bit worried that maybe I blundered. Okay, so e4, yeah, I kind of expected this. Now I can play f4 here. I think just queen c7 though, and maybe f4 bishop g4 is supposed to be fine. So I can take and put the knight on d7. I should be fine here. Okay, I mean I'm just gonna go f4 bishop g4. I'm just gonna go all in here. Yeah, if it's no good, it's no good. But I'm gonna go all in, and he's gonna take. And I'm gonna go knight d7, and we'll see what happens basically. Now, I know Bishop Bishop H5 is what I played against somebody. I forget who I played this against, but I played this against someone. But Bishop H was it maybe there's some IM I think that I had this. Okay, takes with a queen. I did not expect that actually. Okay, I'll go here. And then I go knight of four. I mean Knight of Four is a move. I think even just knight d7 though, and the knight of four should be fine. But knight of four first was better, I think. Of course, I go here now. Fairly not so wonderful. I'm also moving too fast here. I'm trying too hard to put pressure on the clock. Yeah, it finds 92. Now, now I can't really claim any edge. I have to trade and... It's a little bit gross. I guess I go here, try to take. Actually, gross is the wrong word. I'm probably still fine. I probably should be able to draw this, but the chance that I missed bishop before, actually, that's a good move. Go here. Chances of winning are down significantly, though. Well, bishop d6 is maybe not a great move, actually. Because now there, now there are some tricks with knight, knight f6, and if I can somehow get my knight to h5, the bishop on d6 isn't really doing what it should be doing. Goes there. Um, I just go here. I'm definitely in a little bit of trouble. It's just a question of am I in a little trouble or am I in a lot of trouble here? My instinct says I'm in a little trouble. Okay, play c5 again. Not a, not a move that I think is actually great. Okay, wait. Wait, that's not a good. That's not a great move. I don't think. I'm just gonna go all in. I'm gonna go all in here for the uh, for the hero play. This may or may not work, but I, I do need to win because the draw here is just not not an okay result. I could have also taken out five maybe. H1, right? I saw this, but somehow I thought maybe I could get like a bishop to f4 or something. So I go here, attack the rook. I mean, if he takes, I just take. Benjamin's way down on time. I need to use that to my advantage. Like, let's go here, I guess, to glue everything. His bishop on d6 is actually very poor. It has nothing, it's not really doing anything. He, he put this bishop on d6, which was a very poor decision. I mean, I have rook h7 here. I also have g5, g4. I'm just going to go g5, just glue, just put the glue here. Just glue the bishop there, and now I go like here. g4 was maybe better, too. Be careful not to make a blunder. Let's go here, target the pawn. I'm way up on the clock, so I'm trying. I'm trying to... Play Benjamin both on the board and on the clock. Goes F3 now. See, now F3 I feel like is a start. 
It's kind of started going the wrong direction. Should have something here, but it's not easy. Um, G4, FG4, knight e4 maybe? That looks very aggressively aggressive. Then rook f3. I think I'm just going to keep it stable with like... Oh wait, king g7, he has bishop e5. I have to be careful how I do this. Hmm. How do I do this? I think I'm just going to go here maybe. Wants bishop c4. Oh, but I just... Jeez, that's a mistake too. I guess I go here. Because I hit h3. Should have done this before, but anyway. Okay, plays bishop c4. I guess I'll go here. I'm still threatening to take the pawn, basically. And I'm just... Okay, it goes back. Do I have some tricks here? Like, maybe I can line up a legendary triple stack. Maybe. Yeah, let me let's see if I can line up a triple stack. Don't know why I did that. Uh, Rook h8 again. He has bishop e5. Uh, I'm just. I'm probably just gonna make a draw here. Wait, that hangs a pawn. Wait. Still not great, though. Yeah, I misplayed this. Not my day. Missing a lot of stuff that I sh should not be missing. I'm trying to go rook h8 here and trick him. Rook h2? I think I tricked Benjamin, actually. I tricked him. I think he might be losing here. Yeah, I tricked him. There we go. We got the win. Checkmate. <sighs> Tough game. Tough game. Not as day literally won title Tuesday. I don't know. I mean, I probably had some idea, but I didn't see it. But whatever. It's still a win. Win is a win.